with what you have at your disposal now, all, all the knowledge you have right now available to you today, do you still agree that Clayton really wasn't involved in anything shysty uh, and most of the blame should be placed on Bert? Or what are your thoughts on that? To me, when you run a business, the buck stops with the business owner signing the contracts with the customers. And unfortunately, that's Clayton. If I'm going to run a company and my job is to subcontract essentially to property managers or uh, co you know, actual general contractors, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. If there's a problem down the line, it's my problem because I represent to my customers that I'm going to do everything for them. And based on all of the research I've done, Unfortunately, that's what Clayton represented to his clients. His clients did not have the impression that they were working with other contractors and that he was essentially a referral service, sort of an intermediary. That's not the impression they had, so that's not the service they should have gotten.